Ready? What's up guys, welcome to Supercars of London and another daily vlog. It is a beautiful Monday and that means I get very, very excited about the fact that my vlogs include this car. What I want to do today is talk a little bit about why I bought this specific Lamborghini, but also give you a little bit of an overview on the car from the outside. So it's white, obviously. It's got gloss black on the center bit here which on some cars it doesn't have. It's also not been wrapped or blacked out on this inner bit as well, which um, happens sometimes. And as you go around the car, we have got these very special and amazing Superleggera Mark I Superleggera style wheels. It's got the clear side indicator. And as this is the Bicolori edition, we have got the black roof that sweeps all the way down the back of the car. Also has here, the Bicolori Serie Serie Speciale. We've got Gallardo along the front of this car, and let's get in immediately and just sit you up here whilst I talk to you about this car. So I hope you enjoyed the videos over the weekend and the double upload that I did. Oh, there goes my phone. The double upload that I did yesterday, no, two days ago on the Sunday. Uh, the reason being is obviously we did the Formula One video, um, which did get a mixed reaction. I was um, intrigued as to the mixed reaction. Obviously the gaming was very much an experiment. Um, so thank you to everyone who did enjoy it and also everyone who gave constructive criticism, comments, dislikes and all of that stuff, because it is obviously very helpful to me knowing what you guys like to see on the Supercars of London channel. The interior of this car is pretty spotless. The leather is beautiful and you've got, well, carpets down there. We've also got the branding pack, which means it's got the Lamborghini there and Lamborghini in the headrest here. I am gonna be doing a initial review, hopefully this week, but what I wanted to do today is go for a bit of a drive and talk to you about why I bought this specific car. So there's going to be a few miles covered, hopefully a little bit of um, sound that you get from the 5.2 litre V10, which is behind there. Um, but first, I'm going to go to SB Race Engineering, park it up so you guys can check it out a little bit more in detail. Sam did a really cool video on this car when I took him out for a spin. So um, let's just start this car up and go for a drive. But on the brake... You get a lot of buzzes and stuff, like this. This is basically telling you to not start the car up whilst it does its checks on the engine and everything like that. Okay has disappeared, and then you can start it up. And the front number plate is still in the wing wheel. I haven't got it on the front because there needs to be a bracket there to fit that on. Um, but it's got black brake calipers, which I may change. The wheels are my favorite part. I love the wheels and the look this car has. The Gallardo is a really, really cool looking car, um, which I don't think has dated too much. I think the Mark I might have dated a little bit, but I personally think this one looks awesome, especially the Bicolori. Oh, look, private parking. Chrome exhaust pipes or exhaust tips. Now I love this car already. I was so excited about knowing that I was going to drive it today. Oh, that didn't shut properly. Right, so, get the old ping, 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 ping. Oh, have I won? The plan for today is I'm going to take it, this car, to the Hatfield Tunnels. So we could go for a tunnel blast, but also I'm gonna use the drive there to talk to you about why I bought this specific car as opposed to the Mercedes LP640 or any other Lamborghini out there, or even why I chose Lamborghini at all. Let's start with why I have wanted a Lamborghini so long. And it started back when I was about 12 years old, I got a supercar book for Christmas and I went through all of the pages. I was a big Ferrari F1 fan, but for some reason, when I saw the Mercedes Largo for the first time in 2002 or 2003 in a book, 
it was orange with the doors up. I was like, oh my God, that's the best thing ever. And obviously I have not grown up at all because I still think that the Merge Largo and the guy, like just Lamborghini in general, make the coolest looking cars, the coolest sounding cars. I don't think they make the best track cars. McLaren and Ferrari have that pretty much nailed, but that is by no means saying that Lamborghini don't make good track cars or good performance supercars. This is all about the pantomime. It is all about having fun driving and yeah, putting people, putting a smile on my face, but also everyone else's that sees this car's face. Why did I buy this specific car over many other options? Let's start with the Merchelago LP640. One, the running costs on that car are very, very high. It's a big V12 car, 6.5 litre by Lamborghini. And technically, the chassis and the setup is late Lamborghini Diablo, early Murcielago. So the reliability factor or Audi haven't really crept in, even still with the LP640. It looks amazing. It is a proper Lamborghini looker. But the one big thing that I got turned off by, by speaking to a lot of people and owners of Murcielagos, is it will bankrupt me. It's very expensive on the clutches and they last about three to 4,000 miles. So I would be looking at replacing the clutch probably every three or four months, which would mean I would be spending over 50 grand on clutches alone on that car. A huge factor as well for me when I was looking at Lamborghinis was it kind of needed to be a special edition. Whether that was a limited run or a Lamborghini special, I wanted to make sure that my car that I bought held as much value as possible when it came to resale. I have mentioned in a couple of vlogs before, like when you're buying a car that's so expensive and over a, and you plan on owning it for like a year and that car depreciates 10 to 15 grand in that year, that is a cost to you or, or to me. So still getting used to the single, single clutch gearbox. <laughs> I've now got a big, big straight ahead of me, so I'm gonna put it in sport mode. <laughs> this car shifts. Stock exhaust system sounds amazing. I've had a lot of tweets, a lot of comments on YouTube, and a lot of comments on Instagram of whether I'm doing an exhaust system. I am doing an exhaust system, and it is coming within one month. I have one month to enjoy this car's stock, do as many videos as I can, reviews, living with, just a completely stock, and then we're gonna go for a bit of fun and make this car the loudest Gallardo in Europe. That is the plan. Second gear, 3,000 RPM, 30 miles an hour. I will go to the speed limit, which is 70. Are you ready? Build up the revs. Should I do Corsa? I'm gonna do Corsa. Take it out of sport. Corsa mode. Got a big C there. Ready? Whoa! gearbox and it shifts that quick. You ready? Whoa! <laughs> I'm gonna put the window down. And go through this tunnel. <laughs> this is a step up from the Audi R8, just everything. The interior is amazing, there's more leather in this car than there was in the R8. The speed of this car is just insane. Let's get some downshifts in. Google Maps has taken me down a road that has got 
big speed bumps. That wasn't too bad, that one. But this is not Lamborghinis in perfect environment, that is for sure. I'm doing 12 miles an hour over these speed bumps. And that Suzuki Alto has just nailed that speed bump. <laughs> these are big these are really big and I feel sorry for the Mercedes behind who is um, having to follow me it's a nice house there I don't know if you saw that one but a nice one ah, another speed bump ah! fast forwarding a few hours I got sidetracked and spent a lot of fuel in the car but I'm now in the A1 running a few errands to finish off the vlog. So I hope you've enjoyed this video, just talking about why I bought that Lamborghini, as opposed to the Mercialago, the LP640, or any other Gallardo for that matter. So thank you for watching. There's gonna be an amazing couple of videos coming soon with the Lamborghini. So make sure that you subscribe if you're new and give it a thumbs up as well for the Lamborghini in Corsa mode, because that thing is insane. I'll see you tomorrow, guys. Thanks for watching. Drone, which is going on in the background, what I would like to do now is thank every single person who has ever watched one of my videos and made this possible. The Lamborghini dream.